All right, Algebra 1103, and this is the seventh pace. We're uh, looking at pages 23 through 27. I want to do a lesson about graphing inequalities. There's actually two separate lessons here, but I'm going to roll them into one. So um, I'll introduce it, and then you can do the couple pages on page like 23, 24, 25. There's only about page 25 has two problems, okay? And then we'll come back and uh, see how you do systems of equations 26, 27. They only give you like three problems, okay, which isn't much. You'll get it back to it in Algebra 2, all right? They're just kind of introducing it at this point. Let's take this equation, x minus y, and notice it says is greater than or equal to negative 6, okay? Now, if I had x minus y equals negative 6, and I were to graph that line, then I would plug in... Of course, what I would do is solve, so I get negative x minus 6, divide everything by negative 1, okay? So x equals y plus 6, all right? And then set up a table of values, plug in for x, solve for y. So if I plug in 0, I get 6. Plug in negative 2, I get 4. Um, I'm going to plug in, because I can see where this is heading, I'm going to plug in negative 6 and get 0, okay? So now I can come over here and say, all right, one, two, three, four, five, six. So at zero, I'm at the point six. At negative two, I'm up here at four. And then at negative six out here, I'm at zero. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, that looks like it's kind of curving a little bit. I'm going to fudge it. All right, here we go. So I have a line coming through right here, okay? But notice this doesn't say equals. It says is greater than or equal to, uh, okay? Now, because it could be equal to, I'm going to leave this line solid. And when we talk about the other one in a minute, we're going to find out that that one is a dotted line, okay? Then we have to figure out, we're actually shading one side of this line, either this side of the line gets shaded in, or this side. There's only two choices, okay? Shade above it, shade below it. How do we know which side to shade, okay? There's two ways, and both ways work perfectly. One is you take the point zero, zero, okay? Because that's real easy to plug in. And you ask yourself, does that point zero, zero, if I plug that in here, make this a true statement. Zero minus zero, which is zero, is greater than or equal to negative six. Is that true? Yes. Okay. Uh, you know what? I've been a boo-boo here. Uh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Sorry. Because this was equals. Okay. Fine. All right, <clears throat> so actually that's the best way because I can see now that since I plugged in zero, zero, I'm gonna shade in on this side of that line. All right, so that's a good, good clue. Um, uh, no, I'm not gonna show you the other method because that's, we'll save that for algebra two, okay? So always use the point zero, zero as a test point. Now let's take x plus y. And first of all, I'll say is equal to 3. I know it says greater than 3. So let's subtract x from both sides. So I get negative x plus 3. And now I can plug in some x values. And we'll plug in 0, we'll plug in 3, plug in negative 1. Let's just see what happens here. Plug in 0, and I get positive 3. Plug in 3, I get 0. Plug in negative 1, so negative, negative, wait, makes that 4. All right, let's see where these points show up. Let me choose a different color since I have different colors. 0, 3, here's that point. 3, 0, there's that point. And then negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, there's that point, okay? So these are all lining up like that. Okay, obviously you need to do these yourself, and uh, I would suggest doing it on graph paper. All of these are easier if you use graph paper rather than doing them in your pace, unless 
Well, I, I guess they have, do they have a graph in the piece? Maybe they do. Now, which side of this line do I shade in? Well, let's see. Let's take again the test point zero, zero, and if I, the original equation here said is greater than. So if I plug in zero, zero, is greater than three, is that a true statement? I get zero is greater than three. No, that is a false statement. Okay, so since that is a false statement, then I do not include the side of that line that has that test point zero, zero in it. I go to the other side of the line. So that means I'm going to shade this side. Okay, and by shading the other side now, notice oops, that this wedge right here is where both of these overlap. So actually, that's what mathematicians say the solution is. Now, they start by graphing both lines. Oh, I have one more thing I need to point out. But the zone where they overlap is the uh, solution. Now, there's one more thing. This first one had is greater than or equal to. So remember, I said we'll use a solid line. This one does not say or equal to. It just says x plus y is greater than 3. So here's what we have to do. One more step here. For that particular line, we have to go back and we have to make it a dotted line. What that means is it's a barrier between the shaded and the unshaded part, but the actual points that make up that line are not part of the solution set. Okay, it's a real technical difference, but the easy way to remember it is if there is a line under the less than greater than symbol, then it means it's a solid line. If that line is missing, then it means it is a dotted line. Okay, so it's not too hard. That little trick, if you just hold on to that, I think that'll help you. And uh, when you're done, so, well, in the first section with those three problems, you're just doing one problem at a time, graphing it, and you're just shading, okay? When you go to score it, make sure you look if you have the line the correct direction, if it's shaded on the correct side, and whether you made it solid or dotted line. Then when you move on to the next section, that's where we're doing the equations simultaneously. You do both, both of these graphs on the same graph and see where they overlap, okay? And uh, don't go crazy with your pencil trying to shade the whole thing. Just lightly shade, see where it overlaps, make that section a little darker, okay? And again, as you grade that, look for the dotted line, the solid line, and that they're uh, in the right section. All right, hopefully that helps, and I think that takes us actually to the end of Pace 1103. Good luck on the upcoming checkup and the self-test paces. This test, this yeah, this pace I don't think was nearly as hard as some of the other ones that we've done so far.